first word comes to mind about these kids, the heart. And I love the heart, and they kept fighting. Especially the senior class who was honored before the game. A senior class that had never lost to Marshall until a heartbreaking defeat last year. I had a sick feeling walking off the field last year uh, when we lost in overtime. You know, I, 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 I thought about that. You know, I remember that, and I was like, I told, I told the team and, and uh, let them know that we're not going to have that feeling again. Started off fast. The Pirates had a 28-7 lead early in the second quarter after a couple of Shane Carden rushing touchdowns. Marshall came back, which we expected. Marshall scored 21 unanswered points to tie the game at 35 just after halftime. Didn't want to shoot out, turn into one. Yes, it did. The two teams combined for 1,200 yards of offense and 67 first downs on the day. Carden had to find Danny Webster in the back of the end zone as the final seconds ticked off the clock to force overtime. Senior Andrew Botenheimer scored the first TD in extra time. Marshall would answer, then the thundering herd coughed up the ball in double overtime. Seconds later, Cardin's goal line leap secured the Pirate victory. It's a crazy game, uh, probably the craziest I've ever been a part of. We withstood, held together, won the football game. Coach McNeil makes a 65 to 59 win sound so simple. For those of us that were there, we know it was anything but.